Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome and welcome back to Billy Goat's Prophetic Vessel. It's your girl, Billy Goat. And we got a message for you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. This is for my Capricorns and Chosen Ones. Okay. Or wherever you have Capricorn in your chart. And if you know you cho a Chosen One. Or you may have been guided to this video because the Holy Spirit is letting you know that you are one of the Chosen Ones. So again, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I do not choose the storyline or the cards that come out. The Holy Spirit and my spiritual team does. This could be past, present, or future information for you. And these are timeless readings. So regardless of when you're coming across this reading, months, weeks, days, years from now is when the Holy Spirit feels like you could be receptive of a message or be a messenger to someone else in his name, okay? So, Holy Spirit, what do we have for Capricorns and Chosen Ones? What do they need to see, know, and hear? <clears throat> I don't like how this fell out. I'll keep this as a side message. Okay, okay. So we have <laughs> drunkard, drunkard here. Okay. So somebody could be um, having a, a, a hard time when it comes to controlling their. Uh, wow, because right, right behind this is bartender. <laughs> okay so somebody could be having difficulties controlling their consumption levels right so we have alcoholism addiction avoidance abuse okay so like this is going beyond socially this is even going beyond you know the the occasional i'm gonna come home and have a glass of wine or you know whatever the case may be type of thing as a way to relax this is I'm drinking all of my feelings away 24-7, right? There is no in-between, okay? And bartender is right behind that, okay? Now, with abuse being here, you know, somebody could be being abused by someone who is, uh, you know, drinking too much or doing too much of something to where when they begin having this altered state they become like almost a whole another person or this is you flip the energies as you see fit put yourself inside of the story as you see fit the overall energy here is reader now some of you guys could be tarot readers yourself you know or more than just a reader you guys could be high priests high priestesses shamans okay ministers so on and so forth and tarot reading is also something that you do okay now, whoever you're dealing with, okay, again, but the energies as you see fit, they could be a practitioner of some sort. They could be a reader themselves or be going to one, okay, but the energies as you see fit here. But um, seeker of knowledge, knowledge pursuer, explorer of information. So someone could be like trying to find information on you or you could be trying to find information on somebody here, all right? It's like somebody's drunken over you. Somebody's drunken over a situation here. Somebody's drunken at... Uh, also at what they're about to find out if they haven't found this out already or if you haven't found this out already i'm not saying that this gives an excuse but it's like someone is doing this because some of something that they found out or that they're about to okay so again put the energies as you see fit put yourself on the side of the story as you see fit now you guys could be going on a trip here some of you guys are actually living spirit guides okay navigator progress direction seeker of horizons adventurer experience long journey now some of you guys you've already been on a trip okay for some of you guys you've already been on your healing journey okay now some of you guys could be looking for a guide and a guide is going to be you know coming to you for some of for others of you some of you guys you're meant to travel and be a guide to others all right for those of you guys that's kind of wondering about your purpose and or your next steps here. Now, we also have architect. 
Weaver of Blueprints, Planning, Design, Supervision, Construction. So for a lot of you guys, my spiritual beings here, you know, you hold a piece of the blueprint each, okay? So it's really important for you guys to be active in your purposes, even if you don't fully know exactly what it is. You know, it's, it's trusting that when God gives you some sort of an assignment or some sort of project to do, it's in alignment. It, you know, God, the Father, Creator of Heaven and Earth asks you to do it. That means it's, it's in alignment with what you're doing, you know, even if he doesn't reveal the whole entire plan, right? Yeah, because some of you guys could be looking for some sort of direction here. Now, for some of you guys, your next step is going to be moving, is going to be traveling, is going to be, you know, now somebody could be traveling to you. Okay, we do have Seeker here twice. So you guys could be going on some type of adventure. Like you've already been on a journey and it could be a very long one. But it's like, you know, a, a next step to your journey. Okay, where, you know, and you guys could be building. You could have been building. Okay, or you're being guided to, to build something here. Well, whatever you've been building, it's almost like, okay, now it's time to take it on the road. And, and guide other people with whatever you've been building here, okay? Now, the side message here is homeless. Unemployment, solitude, hunger, bankruptcy, wandering. Now, for some of you guys, this could be who you're dealing with. And for others of you, this could be, you know, what you feel like you're dealing with, okay? Uh, we're going to see what, what the storyline is when we... Um... Now, this could be what somebody's going through, which is why they are... Again, not saying that this is condoned, but also which is why they are feeling, you know, out of sorts because of everything that's been going on with them. Uh, if you guys want to book a personal reading, you can feel free to do so via the website link that's linked in the description box, downhallspiritualguidance.com. And it's the only way to book a personal reading with us at this time. Feel free to also uh, join our collective slash Zodiac YouTube channel, Don Juan Spiritual Guidance. That's also in the description box as well. Okay, if you just click, click on the link. Those are timeless readings as well. Okay, no matter when they've been posted, they are all timeless. Take what resonates, leave what does not. All right, Holy Spirit, what do we have? What is this? What is this storyline? Okay, so someone's in deep regret here with the page of pentacles and the five of cups. Someone's in deep, deep regret. Somebody could have been getting abused here because we do have abuse. We do have abuse here and the five of cups can um, talk about abusive behaviors in whatever form. Emotional, physical, verbal, sexual, mental. Okay. I heard somebody's upset that you got away. So this could be this could be a lover, a past lover that that you you know you got away from, or this could be a job that you quit. Okay, a friend that you decided to turn loose because you saw their true colors, something, or this is um or this is you. This is somebody who cut you loose because you was cutting up. Flip the energies as you see fit. Put yourself on the side of the story as you see fit. And now it's like somebody wants to give you something. A token of gratitude I'm hearing. Uh, or, or, you know, some sort of forgiveness. Uh, with the hangman in reverse being here. Yeah, it's like, you know, somebody freed themselves here. Somebody um, freed themselves from a, a job. Um, I'm hearing poverty. You could have. So you could have uh, been over being overworked and underpaid, okay? Uh, you could have gone through some sort of situation where you had to quit or you got fired, right, with this unemployment being here, okay? Now, you know, maybe for others of you, maybe you had to downsize in houses or, you know, stay with a family member or a friend for a period of time, okay? All right. Uh, now, for others of you, this could be who you're dealing with. In fact, whoever this is, 
if you guys were in this homelessness position in whatever way, shape, or form, like even if you still had a home, all right, even if you still had a home and you were able to pay your bills, it's almost like that was all you were able to do though. Like as far as being able to splurge on yourself and really treat yourself like how you deserve, maybe some of you guys didn't get a chance to do that because everything was going towards your necessities, you know, um, and barely that. You know, for some of you, because I know at this time, and hopefully it gets better, we are going through a recession, you know, an inflation. And um, well, basically, whoever put you in this position, this is them now, or it's about to be, or this is going to be you if you purposely put somebody in this position, okay, or try to. Yeah, it's like somebody didn't want you, somebody was trying to like... Control your moves, control um, what you did, how you did it, where you went, where, what time you went, um, what you got, what you were able to pay for, what you weren't able to pay for. It's like, you know, as an example, like some, sorry, all the fail. Yeah, see. Oh, okay. Somebody was not honest with you here. Somebody was a fraud, a fake, a phony, ace of swords in reverse. Somebody didn't tell you the truth. They didn't give you closure. They didn't give you clarity or you didn't give this to someone here. Okay. You see, somebody saw you being happy here, whether this was your lover. And although uh, your lover is supposed to want to see you happy, desire to see you happy. That is not the case in, in every scenario. All right. Or this is you. Or this is someone who was trying to stop your happiness or you was trying to stop somebody's happiness here okay they could have found out from a reader about you know maybe certain blessings that you were about to have come in or things that you had lined up so they 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 like they saw that you was going to have all these options that's one thing about people getting readings it's all about the intention right so like and the intention of the practitioner so like for example I work for God, right? So the intention of doing these readings is to, yes, provide insight on different situations and circumstances that's going on and to provide clarity and truth. So like if somebody is cheating, we're going to reveal it. If somebody is doing some shady shit behind your back, we don't like that. We don't approve of shady shit, right? We don't, we don't approve of fraud shit. So no, we're going to tell it and we're going to tell it like it is so that we can, you know, give you some sort of clues to know where to look or to you know help you out or give you some sort of confirmation right like if your guys is giving you downloads on things and they want to lead you to a certain video to give you that confirmation you know um you know the intention here is to help people for the highest good of all for the best of the best intention that is healthy and positive right well Right, like we want to see you win. We want to see you do well. We want to um, provide any type of information that can help you not just move forward, but move forward in a, a positive and healing way that can promote growth and expansion for yourself. In addition to letting you know the 411, the scoop, right? What's T, the deal, okay? And not for the purpose of gossiping, but for the purpose of truth and clarity. Okay? Because somebody wasn't honest. But you have dark practitioners who who's willing to do whatever, right? They're willing to go into people's energy and read. So this could be something. So this is somebody that went to a dark practitioner, right? Dark practitioners, they don't have no bounds, no limits, okay, when it comes to, no, like, no boundaries. So this is somebody that could have went to a practitioner and said, hey, I need you to look into such and such and such and such. Here, here goes their picture, or here's their name, and here's their information, and I need you to tap into their energy, and I need you to tell me, you know, or confirm for me, or, you know, something in regards to what they have coming into them, Right? Now, you know, and then dark practitioner, of course, they're going to be gung ho to do that because that's what they do. I'm not saying that they should, which when you have people who work for Lucifer, and yes, you have people who work for Lucifer, 
willingly okay you do have some people they don't they don't know and we've all in a sense experienced some of that you know what we ain't know um but you have those that uh they willingly proudly work for lucy lou okay but anyways this is somebody who went to a practitioner that was down for lucifer in so many words okay and was willing to tell them hey what's going on this is what they have coming in this is what yada 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 right um and in some cases too they was trying to swap your good juju all of your hard work it's like trying to do a swap, a destiny swap. Okay? So not only were they trying to find out what kind of blessings you were getting, they were trying to get your blessings energetically over to their side and give you their bad karma on your side. What instead and and here's the thing, we all have karmic debt to serve. But this is some. This is a person who, one person put in the work. Okay, put in the shadow work. Went to a goes to a therapist or goes to a life coach or goes to a mentor or goes to a shaman, whatever the case may be, right? And is actively working on their mental, spiritual, physical, um, emotional bodies, right? Astral bodies, work, just working and healing, healing and working to ascend, right? And have a high level of consciousness with God. You have the other side where it's like um, this person didn't do any type of work, but they want the benefits of someone who did put in the work. So it's like, oh, let me let me go behind your back and go to a practitioner. Now, you do have people that are practitioners themselves and they will uh, do with them, try to do with themselves. Now, no, as if God is not watching. And I had to learn this, too. You got to be mindful who does your hair because you could be messing with a dark practitioner that may be trying to destiny swap doing your hair. Okay, may may take some strands of your hair and take it on home with them. You got to be careful where you leave your pads with blood. I, I know in TMI that I had to learn too. I'm still learning. You got to be careful leaving certain clothes over certain people's houses. You got to be careful who you eat from. Because they could have put, they could have uh, casted a spell over the food, or put some sort of uh, casted some sort of uh, spell over some herbs and put them in the food. You gotta be careful. I, I'm still, I'm still learning. Okay, so I'm gonna put you on game because, you know, I wish somebody held my hand. Okay, so with the six of pentacles and the nine of cups here, it's like somebody, somebody, somebody's about to have overflow. They found out that you're about to not just have something for yourself, but have stuff for other people. Overflow, okay? To the point where you can balance out anybody's scale. If most high say, hey, I want, I want you to go pay for a house for them. You got it. God, God gave it to you to, to, to do that so you could do that. Because whatever this is, this, this abundance is not just for you. It's also for God to work through you to help other people. Right, God may want to pay somebody's tuition through you. God may want to pay somebody's rent through you. God may want to set up an organization or a non for profit or something or a business through you. Right, but again, it's not that somebody else couldn't obtain this, but somebody didn't want to put in the work for it. Again, put yourself on the side of the story as you see fit. So they weren't honest with you. So somebody befriended you, or somebody hired you, or somebody offered some sort of service to you. Met, you know, and for some of you guys, this could have been a family member or this could have been you. So the energy is as you see fit. But it's like, it was a hidden motive. It was a hidden motive. Okay? And somebody's plan didn't work out. So it's like, yeah, they in this regret or you're in this regret energy. I mean, some of you guys could be in this regret energy. Like, you resent uh, going to this person or people here or whatever the case may be. See, this is also why homelessness is out here. Because whoever tried to do that, this is exactly where they about to be, homeless. If they not already, houses in floor uh, foreclosure, you feel like you could barely make ends meet. It is not because you're 
you well it's not because initially you were serving a karmic debt yes and no but now definitely it, it, it. okay trying to find out information on you so you know be careful they somebody could be um trying to talk to different people that you know just try to find out, you know, your whereabouts and stuff like that. So just be mindful. Be mindful of what you post online. Be mindful of posting in real time. If you are out in certain places, I've been learning that too. Okay. So, you know, be be mindful of, you know, hugging anybody. Because it's people out, it's dark practitioners out here. And they really trying to steal people's essences, essences and energy. We are, we're also in a Mercury retrograde right now, y'all. It started April 1st, okay? So be mindful of emotional, um, you know, moods. Be mindful of, you know, technical difficulties, okay? Word slurs, miscommunication, people coming back. Dang. It says stability. So, yeah, some, somebody was trying to take your stability. Somebody was trying to... So, you know how gold diggers... This was somebody that was trying to be a gold digger. Or you was trying to be a gold digger without showing it your hand. Or them showing their hand. But most high showed their hand. And how they treated you. It, you know, so if you wonder why somebody was acting fraud towards you all of a sudden, it wasn't just all of a sudden. Somebody had a hidden motive, motive the entire time and you didn't know. So when you pulled back or when you stopped doing something that was benefiting somebody else or vice versa, that's why somebody, some of you started seeing like that switch up. It wasn't real to begin with here. Control. Yeah, somebody was trying to just have control over you. Control and power. They didn't want to go through the transformation. This was supposed to be a catalyst for both of you guys to go through a transformation. Okay? Platonically or romantically. Memories. Yeah. So, it's like, you know, some of you guys, you may have some good and bad memories. But you guys were supposed to transform together. All right? Again, romantically or platonically. But... It's like somebody was too greedy. Somebody didn't want to put in the work. Somebody wanted to be comfortable. And don't get me wrong, who doesn't want to be comfortable? Expect the world is already hard. Who doesn't want to be comfortable? You know? What well, some growing needed to be done here. So in order to grow, you do kind of have to be uncomfortable. So, somebody has to release a union, or they did, or surrender. Now, for some of you guys, you're being guided to surrender. For others of you, you're, gonna, you're being guided to release here and purge your energy, okay? And your spiritual team is going to help you do that, and or they already have been. And maybe you just didn't know, okay? This could be confirmation for you. You're being guided to utilize um, God's energy when it comes to alchemy. So, knowing that God is working through you to... Um, put healing energy in your water or working through you to put healing energy, you know, within yourself. So, no, it's not your energy. It's God's healing energy. Okay. We have reunion here. So, some of you guys could be, re they could want to re reunite, but that's going to be up to you. Okay. Or you could want to reunite. Look at that. Higher. So, you're working with, <laughs> and trust. <laughs> now, that's funny. So you are going to get your wish fulfillment. That's the bomb.com. Okay. You are going to get your stability. Wow. Look at that. You have wish fulfillment twice here. Nine of cups. Well, maybe it took some time to come in. Okay. You guys are going to get that partner that you want. So this is like love and money. That's beautiful. Okay. And your higher self and your guides are here. Okay. Leading and guiding you. All right, so if you've been building something, keep building. You know, if you're looking for a house, keep looking, you know. And I know sometimes life can be life into where it's just like, oh, I want to give up. But for a lot of you guys, you put in that work. You did, you did what you had to do for the shadow work. Now, of course, we're healing until the day we die. 
but it's like you put in that work to rebuild that foundation to where anything that you heal from here on out you have a foundation to stand on and heal from now and sometimes it does take a catalyst a dark night of the soul and so on and so forth to get you to that point because god is breaking you down to rebuild you back up in his image not the societies not your parents not you know whatever else guys okay and for somebody else they didn't do this and this is why they weren't reaping what they were praying for. And maybe they didn't realize, hey, you know, you're trying to cut corners here and God sees that. But, you know, not everybody believes in God and somebody feels like they have unfinished business with you or you feel like this was someone. Yeah, because it's like somebody's still in love with you or somebody still cares about you. You know, again, this could be a family member, uh, you know, a love a lover. OK, uh, somebody from your job, somebody from your organization. This could be a, a manager that you got real close with. Yeah, see, the lies are coming out with the seven of swords being in reverse here. Yeah, and this is just extremely heartbreaking, which calls, you know, calls you to quit your job or, you know, calls you to break up with someone or calls you to cut someone off as a friend or a family member or somebody may cut you off because they realized you was fraud. OK, again, flip, flip the energies as you see fit here. And somebody's going to be living a life of poverty because they tried to steal what you worked hard for. Okay. When they could have basically got, got the same thing. So thank you all for your love and support here. And congratulations, guys. And always remember that you make your own decisions. Peace out. Deuces.